Section 5. Creating Forms and Reports. What is a purchase order? A purchase order is a commercial document issued by a buyer to a seller, indicating types, quantities, and agreed prices for products or services the seller will provide to the buyer. Sending a purchase order to a supplier constitutes a legal offer to buy products or services. Let's start by examining a typical purchase order template. The company name goes here. Date, purchase order number and customer ID goes here. The name of the seller and address goes here. The purchaser's details and address goes here. Information about the delivery, the shipping method, shipping terms and delivery date goes here. The description of the goods or service, the price per unit and the quantity being purchased goes here. Finally, the subtotal, sales tax and total amount goes here. Cindy's stocks are getting low, which is a good thing for her business. But now she needs to reorder from her suppliers. She has the supplier information in one worksheet. She has the CD information and costs in another worksheet. Her supplier needs a purchase order. Style Guide Forms and reports can be created from scratch in Excel, or you can use an Excel template as a starting point. In this case, a purchase order can be generated and formatted to match the Cindy SCD's letterhead and style. Adding simple formula. The total cost for each item is the quantity required multiplied by the unit cost. For example the unit cost for the Indian Lounge CD is $7 and Cindy has ordered 50 units. The total price for that item is $7 multiplied by 50 units which gives $350 in total. Click into cell F15 to make it the active cell. You can now type in the formula. Remember, Excel formulas always begin with an equal sign. Equal. E15. Multiply. A15. Note, the asterisk sign is a math operator that tells Excel to multiply the values. Sometimes it's easier to copy formulas than to create new ones. In this example, you'll see how to copy the formula you use to get the total price for the other items. First you select the cell which contains the formula you want to copy. Then, position the mouse pointer over the lower right corner of the cell until the black cross appears. Next. Drag the fill handle over the adjacent cell. ULL see that all of the line totals are now calculated. Now let's use the AutoSum function to get the subtotal. Select F22 cell. Click the Sum button. Press Enter key to complete the autosum and you have now got your subtotal. Now you have to calculate the sales tax. The sales tax is 10% of the subtotal. In other words, you multiply the subtotal by 0 0.10 to calculate the sales tax. Have a look in the formula bar to see what the formula actually looks like. Press the Enter key. Finally let's calculate the total. The total is the sum of the subtotal plus and the sales tax. Given that it has just two numbers and not a large range of numbers, we don't need to use autosum. We can just use a simple addition formula. Press the enter key. All done. You have completed a purchase order. Let's print it so we can fax it to Cindy's supplier. Print. In Excel 2003, did you ever switch back and forth repeatedly between print preview and normal view, adjusting your worksheet to get things right before you could print? Once again, 
This task is easier in Excel 2007. In Page Layout View, you can make adjustments to your worksheet and see the changes on the screen before you print. Select the Page Layout tab. Click Orientation and then select Portrait or Landscape. In Page Layout View, you'll see the orientation change and how your data will look each way. Let's select the portrait item for this example. While we are still in the page setup group, click size to choose paper size. Select the A4 item. You'll see the result of your choices as you make them. What you see is what you print. Now you are ready to print. Select the Microsoft Office button and select Print. That is the end of this presentation on creating forms and reports in Excel 2007.